Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. I'm here with part two of me opening an Ultra Prism Pokemon Booster Box. This Booster Box opening is part of the 20 Pokemon Booster Box opening series I'm doing for the summer of 2018 on my channel. This is the second of the two Ultra Prism Booster Boxes that I've opened up. I did purchase this Booster Box from Troll and Toad for $89.95. If you missed out on part one, I had pretty solid pulls, hoping to repeat those types of pulls here in part two, the second 18 packs. Start off part two with a Dustmane Necrozma cover artwork pack. Still really hoping to pull that Cynthia Full Art. If I was able to pull that card, I would make my money back on the box. Just the one Prism Star in part one should be getting three total on the box. More Lull starts the first pack. Piplup, Salandit, Yanma, Drifloon, Lightning Type Energy, Honchkrow, Monferno, Pokemon Fan Club, Reverse Solo. There we go. A Solgaleo Prism Star. This is the best Prism Star in Ultra Prism, in my opinion. And the final card would be an Alolan Sand Slash. I did use that Solgaleo Prism Star in my Dustmane Necrozma GX deck. I'll have to retool that deck for the 2019 standard format. At the moment, I still really like the Rayquaza GX Vikavolt deck that I built. Turtwig starts this pack. Electabuzz. Cherubi. Glamiel. Snover. Fire-type Energy. Volkner. Cosmoan. Pokemon Fan Club, Reverse Solo, of an Alolan Vulpix, just a common, and the final card would be an Empoleon. And I did also build an Empoleon deck. I really do like my Empoleon deck, mainly because if Empoleon is knocked out, my opponent only gets one prize card instead of two. Giratina pack now. Would also love to pull one of the two gold colored GX Full Art Secret Rares. Hoping for at least one secret rare in the box. Turtwig starts this pack. Electabuzz. Cherubi. Glamiel. Snover. Fighting type energy. Electric memory. Turtinator. Mount Coronet. Reverse solo of a Gibble, just a common. And the final card would be a Salazzle was able to pull out two copies of the uncommon version of Cynthia. That card is worth four or five dollars a piece. Of course all the competitive decks out there right now run four copies of Cynthia. Baneri starts this pack. Carnivine, Sneasel, Eevee, Magmar, Metal Type Energy, Missing Clover, Turtinator, Bronzong, Reverse Solo of a Kranidos, which is an uncommon, and the rare here would be a Fan Rotom. Several different forms of Rotom in this set. Dust Main Necrozma, cover artwork design pack. A slow start to part two here, outside of that Prism Star. Alolan Vulpix starts this one. Stunky, Young Goose, Roselia, Cosmog, Darkness Type Energy. Yan Mega, Perugly, Skun Tank, Reverse Solo of a Rampardos, which is a rare, and the final card would be a Drapion. Leafeon Pack now. Another green colored code card. May have some runs of the white colored codes. This pack starts with Alolan Vulpix, Stunky, Young Goose, Roselia, Cosmog, Fire-type Energy, Gardenia, Perugly, Floatzel, Reverse Solo of a Turtwig, just a common, and the final card would be an Alolan Executor. Giratina Pack now. Gibble starts this pack. Scorpy, Lickitung, Chimchar, Passinian, Fairy Type Energy, Unit Energy, Cosmoan, Looker, Reverse Solo 
of an execute, just a common, and the final card would be a type null. Dawn Wings Necrozma pack. Gibble starts this one. Patrisu, Yanma, Murkrow, Eevee, Lightning Type Energy, Yan Mega, Palpad, Skun Tank, Reverse Solo, a Type Null, the card that I just pulled in the previous pack. This is a rare. And then the final card would be a Heat Rotom. Dusk Main Necrozma pack now. Another green colored code card. Should be getting six combined. Rare Hollow, Ultra Rare, and Secret Rares in part two here. Gibble starts the pack. Pachirisu, Yanma, Murkrow, Eevee, Grass Type Energy, Ancient Crystal, Spiritomb, Rotom, Looker, which is an uncommon, and the final card would be an Electivire. That Looker, Reverse Solo, not too bad. Leafeon pack now. Here we go, here's a white colored code card. Glamio starts this pack. Snover, Hippopotus, Shinx, Dupider, Water Type Energy, Unidentified Fossil, Electric Memory, Looker, Reverse Hollow of a Looker Whistle, another uncommon Reverse Hollow, and the final card would be another upside down regular GX. This one is a Dialga GX. So I was able to pull this card in full art form in part one, regular GX form in part two. That card is also available in Forbidden Light as a metal type Pokemon. Giratina pack now. Another white colored code card like I was expecting. Should see some runs here of good pulls. Magnemite starts this one. Buizel. Magnemite. Krogunk. Bronzor, Psychic Type Energy, Unidentified Fossil, Cherum, Gumshoes, Reverse Solo of a Riolu, just a common, and the final card would be a Lusamine, and this is a Full Art Trainer. So the second Full Art pull in this entire booster box, Full Art Trainers are pretty tough to pull. Was really hoping for either Cynthia or Lily. But I'll take that one as well. Dawn Wings Necrozma pack now. Back to a green colored code card. Magnemite starts this pack. Buizel. Another Magnemite. Krogunk. Bronzor. Fighting type energy. Honchro. Mount Coronet. Rotom. Reverse Solo. There we go. A Lunala Prism Star. Second Prism Star pull in part two here. Third overall, and the final card would be in a Rockwinid. Should be getting four more good pulls out of the remaining six packs. Otherwise, this will be a below average box. But like I mentioned, the first box that I opened up this summer of Ultra Prism was so good, pulls wise. Roselia starts this pack. Cosmog. Turtwig, Electabuzz, Cheruby, Metal Type Energy, Palpad, Luxio, Shield On, Reverse Solo of a Lickitung, just a common, and the final card would be a Rare Hollow in a Drampa. I do like the looks of this card very well. You can just identify that Rare Hollow pattern pretty easily. First Rare Hollow pull in part two here. Only pulled two rare holo cards in part one. Leafeon pack now. Piplup starts this one. Solandit. Passimian. Shinx. Execute. Fairy type energy. Unit energy. Luxio. Escape board. Reverse solo. There we go. A rare reverse solo in Bastiodon. And the final card would be a Wash Rotom. Giratina pack now. Here's another white colored code card. 
hoping to pull a secret rare on the box. Piplup starts the pack. Salandit. Passimian. Shinx. Execute. Water type energy. Floatzel. Lily. Magneton. Reverse solo of a Frost Rotom. There we go. A rare reverse solo. And the final card would be a Luxray. And this is a rare holo. I also really like the appearance of this card. Two holo cards here in the last couple of packs. Dawn Wings Necrozma now. Green colored code card. Murkrow starts this pack. Eevee. Alolan Vulpix. Stunky, Young Goose, Darkness Type Energy, Gumshoes, Shield On, Lopany, Reverse Solo of a Piplup, a cool looking card, but just a common. And the final card would be a Magearna. I do like the ability on this card. It allows you to move Pokemon tool cards around. Second to last pack now. White Colored Code card. Drifloon starts this one. Alolan Sandshrew. Hippopotas. Riolu. Alolan Diglett. Lightning type energy. Prinplup. Oranguru. Looker Whistle. Reverse Solo of a Gibble, just a common. And the final card would be a Torterra. And this is a rare hollow. Another card that's hard to identify the pattern on. So if I did my math correctly, this final pack should have something good on the inside. Otherwise, it will be a below average box. And it looks like it will be a below average box overall. But between the two booster boxes of Ultra Prism that I opened up this summer, very happy with the pulls. So the final pack starts with Drifloon, Alolan Sandshrew, Hippopotas, Riolu, Alolan Diglett, Psychic Type Energy, Alolan Doug Trio, Ancient Crystal, Cherum, Reverse Solo, of an Alolan Diglett, just a common, and the final card would be a Garchomp, and this is another competitive card. Royal Blaze on this card can do up to 200 damage. Very similar to Empoleon. So I can summarize the pulls in part two and then on the entire box. So in part two here, I was able to pull out four rare Reverse Solo, Type Null, Bastiodon, Frost Rotom, and then Rampardos, and three rare hollow, Torterra, Luxray, and Drampa. When it comes to ultra rares and secret rares, unfortunately I did not pull a secret rare in the booster box. I was able to pull out two Prism Star cards in part two, Lunala and Soldaleo, one regular GX in Dialga, and then one full art trainer in Lusamine. So to summarize the pulls in part two again, I was able to pull out four rare reverse solo, three rare holo, two prism star, one regular GX, and one full art trainer. On the entire box, I was able to pull out eight rare reverse solo, five rare holo, three prism star, four regular GX, one GX Full Art, and one Full Art Trainer. So that concludes this video. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, make sure to check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages. Next week in this opening series, I'll be opening up a Crimson Invasion booster box. So thanks everyone for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.